Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and this is version 2 of C++ Crash Course. Now in this version of this series, we're going to be improving on the audio quality of some of the early videos in the other series, as well as also improving a lot of the code quality and trying to clear up some of the examples, as well as introduce more modern uh, and best practices of the language earlier. So to start out, we're going to be doing an introduction of how we even get started doing C++ programming, looking at a couple of different compilers and a couple of different text editors. Now, you may be using an IDE, but in most of these videos we'll be using text editors. So, to get started, you know, the editor I'll be using the most is one known as Vim. Right? So to create a new file with Vim, I can do vim intro.cpp, and this will create a new file called intro.cpp and open up the text editor Vim. If you want more information about um, you know, using Vim, I'll go ahead and link something below. And optionally, you can also use VimTutor from the command lines, right? So you can just type VimTutor if you're in a Linux system. So uh, it'll, most of the time, it'll, uh, this will just be automatically in your command line. So this will give you a brief guide into how to actually use Vim. So you know, let's go ahead and make a program. So let's do the most simple program we can have. Right? So we'll open intro.cpp. I'll press I. That'll put me into insert mode, which means I can start writing text. And all I'll do is I'll make a main function. So we'll go over this in later videos, what each part of a C++ program does, but for now, we'll just make a simple main function. I can press escape to exit inter mode, and then I can say write, right, with just a W, and that will save the program. Optionally, I can also do WQ, which stands for write quit. So this will write, and then quit from the program. So now you see I have a file here, intro.cpp, and that contains the content. So if I do cat, intro.cpp, it'll go ahead and print out the contents of that file to the screen. Now optionally I can use uh, another editor that is typically in most Linux systems, and that's gedit, right? So let's get rid of intro.cpp, and instead I can use gedit, and I'll do intro.cpp. Now this will uh, bring up another window, right? So this is my text editor, and I can do the same thing, right? So I can have, uh, you know, int main, and then I can say return zero, so you see it also has text highlighting, right? And we can we can uh, go ahead and improve uh, or increase the font size, right? So here it's a twelve, right? We can go ahead and pump up the font uh, the font size to say twenty, right? And exit out. It has a whole bunch of different color schemes you can use as well, and then my closing brace, right? I can just do normal things that I would expect. So Control S will save it. And then if I go back to my uh, my screen, you see that it's still, you know, it's running this process right here, this gedit intro.cpp. So either I can run that in the background or I can just exit out and it will return control uh, over to me. So I can do uh, gedit intro.cpp and, and this will go ahead and open it up and uh, also return control back to the terminal, right? So let's go ahead and exit out of this. Right, and we see if I do cat on intro.cpp, it'll print out the same program I had originally. Right, so those are just two options that you have to writing C++ code. So uh, the other thing we have is compilation. So how do we actually build our program so we have an executable? So most of the time we'll be using G++, which is from the GNU compiler collection. So to compile, I'll do G++. I'll pass in my input files. So in this case, it's just input or intro.cpp. I'll do dash O, this says, okay, what is my output file going to be named as? So I can just call it something like intro, right? And you see, if I go ahead and print it out, I have an executable there. Now, it doesn't do anything, right, when I run it, because it's just a main function. But that's how we build our programs. So if we're using something like uh, clang instead, so there's a clang, oops, there's a clang plus plus compiler, it'll work the same way. So I can do intro.cpp, dash O, and then intro, right? And you see I also have an executable now, and I can do dot slash intro, right? And it will go ahead and run that. Um, it's also important to know that the ordering of this can change, right? So I can do clang plus plus intro dot cpp dash O intro, or I could just flip the order, right? So I could put dash O intro first, and then my input file second, right? And this is true for both GCC or G plus plus and clang plus plus. All right, so those are the basics of you know getting started with working in uh, you know command line environment, some intro on text editors, and I'll link some more resources below on you know 
guides to using some text editors like Vim, um, as well as some links to some references for some compilers. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. Uh, as always, all this code is going to be at github.com slash coffee before arch. So we have a repository for the original series, and we'll be using this repository um, for this new series. We'll just be improving on the code, and maybe we'll go in a different order um, and making sure that we clear up any details that maybe were a little bit fuzzy last time around. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.